Uh, after the chorus for survey of Gyanma Vapi Mosque, there is another petition that is questioning Taj Mahal. The petitioner alleges that there was a Shiva temple where the Taj Mahal is currently. A uh, big question arising is when is all of this going to stop? But we're getting you a roundup of how it is raining petitions in Uttar Pradesh. A big U turn by Modi government. After firmly defending the country's colonial sedition law in the Supreme Court, on Monday, the central government filed a three-page affidavit in court and said it has decided to re-examine and reconsider the sedition law. The decision came from the top. Affidavit asserted that Prime Minister Modi was cognizant of various views on sedition and in favour of defending civil liberties. The affidavit stated that Prime Minister was keen on shedding colonial baggage and the centre has scrubbed over 1,500 outdated laws since 2014. The government urged the top court to wait for the review by a competent forum and asked to not consider the petitions challenging the sedition law. Sovereignty and dignity of India is absolutely important for the government and for everyone. So while revisiting reconsideration of the sedition law, it will be ensured that all these provisions are taken well care of. The opposition seems divided over the issue. This is a progressive thing. And we should do it in all the country. I do it in all Modi government used the sedition law only to suppress fundamental rights of expression of opinion, curbing dissent against the BJP, suppressing voices against the RSS, subjugating opinion against the Modi government. Concerned by the widespread misuse of the sedition law, the Supreme Court in July last year had asked the central government if sedition law is still required, which was used by the Britishers to silence Mahatma Gandhi. People booked under sedition law can be arrested without a warrant and it's a non-bailable offence, punishable with imprisonment from three years up to life along with a fine. Lately, the Rana Kapil and a Gujarat MLA were slapped with a sedition law. Is it time to scrap the British-era draconian sedition law? Bureau Report, India Today.